Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City is one of the world's largest institutions devoted to exceptional patient care, innovative research, and outstanding educational programs. The mission here at, for the library is threefold. We're focusing on research, education, and patient care. And these are three components that are in incredibly important to us. And this is how we go about supporting our researchers, our clinicians, our physicians, our nurses, our healthcare professionals. I love being a librarian here at MSK because I feel like I'm a part of research that's being done to really uh, change the face of cancer. Given that there's so much data in many publications nowadays, the methods used to create those data, of course, are not usually represented in full in papers. And so it is very difficult to retrace all the exact steps, particularly those very technical, detailed steps to actually create data. That's just not in publications for the most part. My field of research is molecular imaging. I'm a big believer in that an image does speak a thousand words. A video speaks 10,000 words. So if we want to get over many of the concepts that we do in molecular imaging, the ability to do this in an image, or in particular moving image, I think is not just going to advance our field, but it's going to advance our research at MSK, and it's just going to help cancer in general. What Jove's goal is, is to provide ability to actually do research. It provides video instruction on methodology, as well as, of course, written instruction with references and so forth. So it's tremendously helpful to promote research because it's providing labs throughout the world with the ability to actually you know, utilize those methods for research. The video kind of brings the research to life. And I think that's kind of important for our user community and it helps them out a great deal. And I think it is a time saver in many ways as well. I think when you read a paper, it's very flat, it's one dimensional, but then to see and listen and be able to stop and play, you are able to learn more, learn quicker, analyze what you're seeing, and you're able to kind of replicate the experiment in a better format. One major um, benefit of Job is that it's ultimately educational. You know, it's a way to educate oneself um, and one's lab about techniques and methods. And there are very few opportunities to learn some of these methods, particularly when you're not in that field. I think it's the whole onboarding process, right? So you want to bring someone on board, you want them to learn quickly, so this is one way that that could happen and you can tell them which videos they need to come up to speed with. So I think that's a great approach. The one thing that the Jove publications have also allowed us to do is generate an SOP, a standard operating procedure, in order to do some of these techniques. It's not just us disseminating these operating procedures to other labs, but then we can use them as an archive within our own lab for when new people are brought on board. I hope that more of our researchers publish in Joe because it really is a great way to show what they're doing and also to educate not only other people here at MSK, but people all over the world who are able to look at the work they're doing and learn from it. In many respects, the video publications we have with Jove have actually helped us train people in other laboratories. It's been commonplace that we've had people fly from the United States or even from across the world to my lab to learn a particular technique. What the video publications have allowed us to do is to teach them remotely on how to do some of these techniques. It's helpful for people to know that our lab is actually expert in those techniques and that to provide that information to others and also for us to cite the Joe article to say, you know, this is actually an established technique, it's been peer reviewed and it's publicly available and it just adds a little bit more authority to actually our own methods in our publications as well. bottom line for all our resources, they really have to kind of reflect and map back to the um, research and medical activities of this institution. I mean, ultimately, that's where the value lies. And for Jove, not only the content is unique in many ways, it is the way the content is delivered, which is unique as well. Having these papers in Jove has really helped us disseminate our research to other groups. And it's about the accessibility. A lot of people have asked us for many years how we do certain things and the ability to give them the Jove link and give them the video has really helped spread these techniques and this technology to other labs that previously we didn't think was possible. 
So I think regardless if you're an author or publishes in Jove or someone that uses it, we're all the same community of scientists that want to learn and utilize techniques and educate ourselves on these techniques. I would say that Jove, it's a resource that's unlike any other resource that we have here at the library. And I would recommend it to other librarians, especially those working with medical students or any kinds of researchers that really could take advantage of like a unique visual platform.